Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Ian Aroma. If you're new to my channel, my name is Erwin Agana Naskal and this is Ian Aroma channel. If you like my videos, you can give it a like, you can share it, or you can even click the subscribe button to be updated on the following videos that I will upload here on YouTube. Today is a very special episode because I will be sharing the bags that I personally use whenever I travel or the bags that I use just on a regular basis. For men, it's kind of not normal to have like a purse or a bag carrying with them whenever they go out. So normally, men, they just put their wallet, their cell phone, their keys, or whatever they carry in their pockets. I am not one of those. I really don't like putting a lot of stuff in my pocket. That's why I think I do collect bags or use bags whenever I go out. Most of the bags that I will show you today are women's bags. I am a type of person that I really want to bend the rules regarding clothes or bags or shoes. And I think that if you're a straight man and if you're using a woman's bag, it wouldn't really matter because a lot of people now doesn't care on what you do, what you wear, what you use. And for me, like the plus side of having a woman's bag is after I'm done with it or if I don't like it anymore, I can just give it to my sister or to my mother or to any of my relatives. Without further ado, I will now show you my top 10 bags that I normally use. First stop in our collection on my top 10 bags are normally my travel hand carry bags. So I have this bags. So I have two leather bags, this one. And I have two nylon one. I don't know if this is nylon, but <laughs> it looks like nylon. So normally if I travel, I do love carrying a hand carry bag that you can just access everything and you can see the content from the inside. So with this kind of bag, you can just put your jacket, your iPod, your chargers, your cell phone, your keys and everything. And it will still like look good whenever you travel and it looks like this. So that's my number 10 bag. Number nine on my list is my backpack. I have a lot of backpacks, but this is the one that is my favorite. So this is a leather backpack. I used this actually in my masters when I was doing my school here in Rome. And it fits like 13 inch uh, laptop. And uh, you can put your books in it and it has like a safe place for your laptop as well so this is my number nine bag number eight on my list is like the list bag that i normally use i only use this whenever i have interview uh, or if i'm looking for a job i use this every time i look for a job here in rome i also use this when i was in japan and it's very professional like if you have this and it really makes an impression it really makes you look that <laughs> You're very intelligent, you're very capable on the job that you are applying for. So inside, it has like multiple compartments that you can put your keys, your wallet, your pens. And normally, if you're in a job interview, you can just like open it, get your resume, and close it. Really looks good. There you go. I personally suggest that you can have this kind of bag one in your collections because it really does make an impression that you look very smart whenever you carry this bag around. Number seven in my collection bag is my big wallet. I have a big wallet that fits like your money, your keys, your cell phone, and everything that you need whenever you go out. So with this wallet, it has like compartments for your money and for your cards. And you can, on the other compartment, you can also fit your cell phone. If you have a small wallet, your keys, and a moisturizer or a sanitizer. When you close it, you still have this. But whenever I carry this, I normally put a strap in it because I really don't like holding a man bag or like a big wallet. So what I normally do is, I bought a lot of bag straps. So I got this from Etsy. It only costs like few euros. So what you normally do is you connect this to this and it will look like this. Ta -da! It's more trendy to carry your big wallet like this whenever you go outside of your house. Back in 2018, the bum bags or the body bags were like a thing again. So 
I got this bag actually from Japan. It's like a Herschel. And I have another bum bag here that I just bought it because it was on sale. But the good thing about this, like you can put a lot of things in it. The good thing about this bum bag is like you can just open the bag and you can see what you're looking for. So it's a big compartment. Basically, you can fit everything here. I put, I put my two cameras here, my gimbal, my, my small tripod, my keys, my wallet, my cell phone, and everything else. And it's like very accessible to use this. I got this actually because it was on sale. It is a Kipling. It is a Kipling collaboration with Keith Haring. So it's very cute. It's very trendy. And it has multiple compartments inside. So if you use this whenever you travel, you can basically like put your cell phone, wallet, your passport in it. And it's still safe to use it. It will just stay in your body. Number five in my collection is my very good, very soft black leather black bag. And when I got this actually, it has, it's for women. And normally if you buy a woman bag, it comes with a very thin strap. So what I normally do is I always change it to a bigger strap. So we'll be using this. And it looks like this. Ta-da! The good thing about this bag, it has multiple compartments where you can put your cell phone, your wallet, your keys, your passport. Like, the leather really is very soft. And you wouldn't go wrong with this bag wherever you go. So if you're going to travel, you're going in a party, you're going in a dinner, or you're going in a wedding, you can always use this. And number four in my collection is this very good brown bag that I have. It's very printed. So it's very distinct. I only use this like less than five times because people know if you use a bag and if they see it, they would know that you use it right away. And I really don't like repeating the bags whenever I go out. I normally change them. Uh, when I got this again, this is like a woman's bag and it came with a very thin strap brown leather. I changed it to another thick leather that I got it from Etsy as well. Inside it looks like this. So basically you can just put your passport, your keys, your wallet, your cell phone, your moisturizer, your earpods, your perfume, your lip balm, and a lotion. And it fits everything inside with still like space left. So it's very good to use this whenever you travel and it just stays in your body and it's still like very trendy. Number three in my collection is this very small bag. Um, if you're familiar with bags and baguettes, uh, it looks like a baguette when I saw it. That's why probably I bought it, but it's not expensive. It's very cheap. And I got this from Mango. It's very girly like to see it like this. And of course, it doesn't have a strap when I got it. What I did actually is like, I used my brown strap that I got from Bangkok and I just like, connect it in and it looked like this so it really looked like a baguette I travel with this bag a lot of times <laughs> what normally you can only put here is still like this you can still put your passport your wallet your cell phone keys and your hand sanitizer in it and it looks like that inside it can still fit some of your stuff this is not the most girly bag that I have but this really like is a head turner whenever I use this because it really looks like for women but I use it normally and I don't care <laughs> what other people say about it but it looks good lately I've been really getting obsessed buying small bags that you can just fit like small stuff in it and this is one of them this is like a small box that I got like few years ago if you open it it has its strap, so it has a thick strap, which is very good. But basically, this is just it. It's just a small compartment where you can just put your wallet, your cell phone, moisturizer, hand sanitizer, and basic things. But it's still like, it really makes a statement whenever you carry it, and it looks very good and trendy as well, so. And it looks like this. Okay, let's now head to my number one bag. <laughs> I actually got this a few days ago and I cannot wait to bring this outside. I, I used it already once outside and a lot of people are looking at it because it's very unique looking. So this is my first on my bag. <laughs> it looks like a bin, like your kidney bin. It looks like a old purse 
that you use whenever you have big gold coins so it looks like this and what you normally do is like it has two holes big and small hole so what you do is like the big strap you put it in the small hole and then that's how you close the bag it's still like very safe actually you use it like you just hold it here and that's how you carry the bag or you can just put it inside your hand it looks very trendy <laughs> I don't know this is my number one because it's very light and it's such a statement like carrying this bag what you can normally put inside are your cell phone, lip balm, moisturizer, sanitizer, your wallet, airpods, your keys everything's inside you close it still looks trendy so those are the bags that I normally use on my daily basis or whenever I travel I have two bags that I'm going to share with you which I really do regret getting or buying because I only use them like few times and it's not very useful for me personally and then again if you're like a different type of person that wants this kind of bag then go ahead and buy them but for me I really do regret getting this bag because it's it really di didn't like serve purpose first of those bags is this bag in my head I can really use this whenever I travel. I thought I can put my cell phone, my wallet, and my passport in it. However, when it arrived, it was very small. It was my own fault because I didn't look at the dimension in the website when I got it. And basically, you can just put your cell phone in it. I have a Samsung S10 Plus, so it's a bit big. I have struggles like putting it in it. And that's it, that's all you can put in. If I try to put my small wallet inside, it doesn't really that close that much so it's not very safe yeah this is one of my regrets I use this twice only in my life so second of <laughs> the bags that I do regret is getting this bag it's such a statement using this and it's very girly first it's like you're gonna change the strap because the strap holder is very thick and most of my strap cannot like handle this second of all is like I don't know it's just the print it's like really in your face that you're using it. I know, I don't feel like comfortable using it anymore. These two are my biggest regrets of my bag. But of course, like a lot of people are like buying this kind of bags because the brand is very famous and it's just probably not for me anymore. So those are the 10 bags that I <laughs> normally use. If you have comments, you have questions, you can message me on my social media. It's on the Instagram and Facebook. Or you can even email me if you have other questions or recommendations on the videos that I should upload here on YouTube. Once again, my name is Erwin and this is Ian Rama channel. Goodbye!